So that white is getting taken off. My Hellcat logo is getting put back on. I'm literally on my way to do that right now. Kirsten's gonna drive with me, drive my car back, and then I'm gonna go pick it up tonight. So I will show you what this looks like in a couple hours. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel. And in today's episode, I'm actually impressed that I started this YouTube and Kirsten hasn't even looked at me. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Let's go. Living that crutches life. So I've uh, woken up in a fairly decent mood today. Yesterday I was not feeling, not really feeling myself just like getting to me you know this whole freaking stupid foot thing it's bothering me a little bit but guys I'm embracing it I'm rolling with it just had my company wide or sorry I just had my uh, team meeting with my executive leadership team and now what I'm going to do I'm gonna have a call with Cole we're gonna have a little bit of chat about the business and then I'm going to do a little bit of TikTok ad stuff so I'm gonna take you guys through a day in this life that I live and today I'm gonna get my Hellcat fixed so my front panel as you guys know was dented and so I had to get a rewrap so today I get my car back and it's gonna be beautiful pristine and it's gonna be all matte black again and I can't wait. Hey right, guys, so I just finished setting up some more TikTok ads. So I'm still in the process of testing. I figured out an ad that gets me more followers on TikTok for actually 18 cents a follower, which is crazy, but I don't know how valuable those followers are gonna be. And I don't know if those followers are gonna convert into dollars. So I don't wanna go spending a bunch of money on something that I'm not really sure is gonna convert into actual clients in my bank account. So there's no point in spending money on ads just to just to spend money on ads, you know? Like I wanna spend money on ads, it's actually gonna lead to growth in the business. So I'm currently working on figuring out a way to get leads instead of followers. So there's a difference between followers and leads. Follow, like leads are like people that come into your network and like are interested in your stuff. And followers are just people that are following on social media, which is like pretty easy to do. So working on that and uh, I'm gonna jump on my podcast right now and I'm gonna be talking about a $38.6 billion company. So it's gonna be fun. Let's get it. What is going on my fitness coaches? Welcome to another episode of the Change Labs Make Money Online Trainer Podcast. This is the number one show for online coaches who are trying to grow a successful online business. All right guys, so we're in the middle of a workout right now. I just wanna show you guys something really cool. So higher energy, we are in the process of tearing apart this room. Enter at your own risk because we're gonna be putting all of our squat racks in here. So this is gonna be squat room. We're gonna be putting brand new flooring in. It's coming soon. You heard it here first. So that white is getting taken off. My Hellcat logo is getting put back on. I'm literally on my way to do that right now. Kirsten's gonna drive with me, drive my car back, and then I'm gonna go pick it up tonight. So I will show you what this looks like in a couple hours. All right guys, so I just dropped off the Hellcat. You guys are gonna get to see it when it's all back. And my, my wife pants. has to pee her pants. Like the worst I probably have ever had to Go. Do you think A&W are here? Uh, A&W for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm gonna f piss, man. Like, it's not even like, it's not even like a regular. Like, every part of my body is trying not to pee. <laughs> Being awful. I'm dead serious. I had to go since the moment I left the house. Why didn't you go pee? Because I didn't, re it didn't register until I was like, oh, I really have to go. I don't even know what I'm saying because all I can think about is like, if I'm gonna pee my pants or not. <laughs> dead <laughs> serious. Bye. Oh, ow. This is actually, this used to be a semi-normal thing. Hey, Fluff. Hello, hello, Mr. Fluffy Pants. This is Mr. Fluffy Pants, you guys. Mr. Fluff, say hi to YouTube. Oh, he is saying hi, good boy. Who's a good boy saying hi to YouTube? All right, guys, so like I said, drop it off the Hellcat. I'm gonna pick it up later today, hopefully. I'm gonna try to convince Kirsten to let me go back, or to drive me back. So that's that, and now I'm on my way back to the house, the his Higgity house. Got a call with somebody, and then I'm going to work on my company YT meeting, which is gonna be tomorrow. So I'm gonna be drafting up some expectations slash what I want from my team moving forward. And I'm excited because I think it's time to raise the waterline, raise the standard of PT domination. Let's go. All right, guys, so it's the middle of the day. My Hellcat guy just texted me, he said the car is ready to go. Ooh! I'm gonna go pick it up. And Kirsten pretty much cannot help me with that. So I called Cole and I was like, can you do me a favor? <laughs> and he's gonna come pick me up right now. So I'm pretty much finished all my work for the day. I am, I, I do wanna post like a TikTok. So I wanna do that. And so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know why this is good. This is so hard for me to get out. Um, so I'm gonna post a TikTok and then Cole's gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go get my stuff. I'm gonna go get my car. I can't wait. All right guys, we're in the middle of the day now. Cole's here, he doesn't like Broncos. You don't like four Broncos? No, 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 I love Broncos. Those ones, they came out like a, like that's the city one. Oh. Like that's this, like they made this to be like a little bit smaller, more condensed, instead of having like the big tires and the lift on them. Mm. Have you seen the other ones? No, I'm not really like a car guy. Besides the fact that I'm gonna go pick up my Hellcat. I decided something, by the way, and this would be the first time I'm telling you this, by the way, so it's kind of cool that you have it on your blog. I'm not gonna get my G-Wagon anytime soon at all. 
and it was because I watched a Chris Bumstead vlog and he like bought this like old, not busted ass, it's actually super nice, like redone, but like old, old boxy Ford like F-150 or something. Yeah. And it's like the old one, like 1980, yeah. something like that. And when I saw that right away, it was like a f***ing, like the child me yeah. was like, got like f***ing amped up yeah. because that's what I used to like. That's the yeah. stuff I looked at. And it was like the more I started making money and the more I started doing things, the more I started getting influencing by people around me. It was like my f***ing, like what I wanted started going higher. Yeah. Like, oh, I want the Benz. I want this. I want this. Yeah. And then like when I thought about an older truck like that, like an older C10 with like the box and like, the yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. Dude, that's so, cool. F your goddamn G-Bag and I'm gonna go OG. Yeah. And I've actually got the truck that I wanna go see at August Motors. Dude, that's so cool because I literally had the same realization about my Lambo. It's not, really? not in terms of like what you had, but but I realized that like, I feel like I wanted a Lamborghini and I put it on my vision board for so long because I was like trying, oh, let's see. Look at that, there eh? There you go. That's fucking sweet. The old, and it's got fucking hydraulics so yeah, you can cool. lower it, bro. I'm like, this is the shit that I like. Like the old boxy type style. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like, that's me. That's cool. Yeah, that's rad. Right? Yeah. So, Lamborghini. I, like, had this, like, realization. And I, like, I feel like the reason... I'll, I'll be honest, actually. The reason I wanted to get a Lambo is because I wanted to flex on everyone. Yeah. I did. Because I'm like, f*** you. I came from a trailer park <laughs> and now I'm driving a Lambo. Like, that's what I wanted. But I feel like I don't need to flex anymore. Like, I ha we own a f***ing gym. Yeah. 20,000 square foot gym. Yep. It's the biggest gym in West Kelowna. We got... And mansions of our neighbors. We got mansions of our neighbors, yeah. and I drive a Hellcat. I feel like yeah. I'm flexing enough, mm -hmm. so I like realize that. And also, like, I want to start spending money on like smart. Like, I'm one of the skills that I have, and I'm like, I'll be open to this. So I'm really good at like making money. One of the skills that I need to get better at is like what to do with it. Same. I'm literally in the same fucking boat. We're horrible. At that. So, but dude, I was watching a Tony Robbins video the other day, and they were saying that if you put $500 a month in a compound interest account, and you do that for 10 years, you'll retire with $1.8 million. I'm like, what the f*** am I doing? Yeah. I'm like, what and am that's I doing? 500, bro. Dude, I know. I know. I'm like, what if we put five grand away? That's what I mean. A Jesus, month. Five K like, a month, bro. We'd literally be making bank. I know. So, so I want to start getting better with money, and I feel like buying a Lambo wouldn't be the best purchase. Plus, I literally have a car that's faster than a Lamborghini right now. It is. It's got 770 horsepower. And I'm it's cool, and I love my car. So I may as well just keep my whip, and then I don't have to spend. I don't have to put down a two hundred dollar, two hundred thousand dollar down payment. Also, if I'm gonna put down a big down payment on something, I want to buy my grandma's house. So, yeah, all of these reasons, the Lambo's gonna wait. Yeah, hundred percent. I feel that in my goddamn soul. I was like, I love the G wagon, and I want it so fucking bad. And it wasn't even about like me getting it to flex on anybody, because I've never had that mindset. Yeah. It was just, I literally, it was more about like, I got influenced by like a more expensive lifestyle. Mm. And then as soon as I saw that, like Chris Bumstead, yeah. as a fun, like we both look up to him. Yeah. I'm like, going to see, like when he got that truck, it literally just, it, I felt like the fucking child of me scream. Oh. I was like, that's what I fucking want, man. I'm like, I want the old. Yeah. Like that's, that's me. The yeah, older yeah, yeah, style yeah, yeah. vehicle. Yeah. What the fuck am I trying to go new school for with all yeah. this crap? Also something about Chris Bumstead. Bro. That's what I'm saying. We're so yeah, really good we, fucking, we got a plan. <laughs> we got a plan for this. Yeah, we got a plan for this. Yeah. Paul and I just did a little brainstorm about how to improve our program and some different things that we're gonna add to the mastermind and basically adding like a little bit of an anatomy. So the anatomy of a 25K a month coach has a trainer, a shadow coach, a community manager, and a virtual assistant, and then that's it. Yeah, base employees. And base employees, and then there's two different routes you can go after that. Route number one is like a DIY body, like Cole referred to, or route number two is like a Trizzle Man Fitness. Trizzle Man Fitness is the main person in the company, and he's like really the only trainer, he's making 60K a month, or a DIY body where you have a team full of coaches, so. Basically, the breakdown of it, guys, is like, what do you want your company to look like? This is why we want to build the, the anatomy of it, because when it comes down to like DIY body, you have a bunch of coaches with you, you're building everything like as a company, but when it comes down to like Trizzle Man Fitness, it's you as the entity, all right? Like that's the breakdown. And then you have like second in commands and sub employees and back end people to help you be the head Boom. Uh, across the board. Boom. And I wanted to capture that idea and not forget it. So we're here to pick up my Hellcat and I'm so f***ing excited about it. Let's go. So guys, get this, all right? Brian's out of the car so we can't reach his camera right away because I'm about to expose him for some what? So the other day, right, my car stank. I'm like, what the f***? is going on and I thought it was just like the garbage in my garage yeah. so I took the garbage I put it outside I did all this stuff I'm like what the f is happening looking everywhere behind my seat underneath my seat was this kid's 
protein shake thing from Supplement World when we saw a <laughs> cup. You left your cup in there, bro? And nasty old protein. <laughs> Good f you. Under my car, bro. Good, dude. What f the? You. I'm marking my territory. <laughs> I got her back. And she's got me wrapped. Oh, look at that. Sex Panther, eh? Good times. I'm super excited about that. My friends to bring over a friend that's a comedian, and that's Will. What's up, everybody? Dude, I'm wearing the same outfit in this video as I am right now. That is funny. You did laugh? <laughs> It's all right, we got your money already. I'm learning from a comedian. So today, we're gonna learn about food, because food is fuel. If you don't eat food, you, you won't be alive, and then... So we don't want to be dead. So we're gonna eat today, and you're gonna teach me what to eat. Hell yeah. Cool. First thing I eat every single day is protein. Now, I know that it's kind of a joke, but it's actually true. I am a fitness person that has protein every single day because if you want to gain lean muscle tissue, you need to be consuming a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I start my day every single day with vegan protein. I eat in the morning probably some chips <laughs> just because uh, they're there. I'm going to go watch the premiere, guys. Right. Let's go. Okay, guys, so the premiere went super well. I'm honestly so happy. It's so funny that I was wearing this outfit in the video, too. <laughs> It's the outfit I'm wearing right now. So, guys, I wanted to share something with you that uh, I realized, and because today I didn't get as much like mental labor work done as I wanted to. Like there was some stuff that I wanted to do in the business that I didn't quite get the time to do today because I got a lot of commitments. You know, I'm doing a vlog every single day, and I'm doing two TikToks and reels every single day. So like I've got a lot of commitments that I've like that I've committed to. Plus I'm really into this TikTok thing right now, like these TikTok ads. So that's that. So that means I didn't get as much stuff done as I would have wanted to. However, I did get my car back and I've wanted to get my wrap fixed for so long. Like it's been like been like three months that I had a dent and in, in the front of my car. So I finally took it into the body shop and I got the dent taken care of. And then I had to wait two weeks before I could rewrap that because it got painted. And then I took it and I just got it rewrapped. So even though I didn't get as much in the business work done as I wanted to. I still did a lot in the business today and and I got something done that I've wanted to do for a while. So I think it's important to like recognize the personal wins too because today was a really big personal win for me and I felt really good and I felt really like aligned with the fact that, I felt really aligned with the fact that I did something for myself today. So. That felt good. So guys, that's it, that's all. That brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, the number one piece of actionable value for today will be sometimes you gotta put yourself first. So peace, love, protein, have the best day of your entire life and we'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go.